Good afternoon, it's Jason from Bohemia Bees, and we're going to do a quick little video on what goes on inside the hive. We get a lot of questions from new beekeepers and just general interested people about bees, and we want to take some time to actually dissect a frame or a honeycomb frame of bees uh, in a beehive, so you can actually understand what, uh, what goes on inside of a beehive. Okay, so we're gonna take a slice of this colony in a single frame. This just happens to be one of the middle frames. Why? Because there's uh, a large brood's nest in the middle. And brood is really the baby bees. Uh, so this is where the queen will lay her eggs in individual little honeycomb cells. And the bees will be raised in those cells until they uh, go from an egg to a, a larva and then a pupa and emerge out, which we'll talk about in just a second. You'll notice in the top left-hand corner and right-hand corner, there is capped honey. There is probably some uncapped nectar that has not been cured yet. Uh, and then there's a ring that separates the brood from the honey, which is typically your pollen stores. Again, you need nectar or honey and pollen in order to feed the young bees when they're in a uh, larval state. Uh, you have various stages in the life cycle of a bee. Uh, naturally, as I mentioned, the queen will lay an egg, as you can see here in this diagram. It will then grow to a larva, and then the pupa be capped over and emerge out. Uh, you can see here what some uh, larva that's been uncapped and some eggs will look like, uh, if you happen to see the cells in close up. Um, but really, let's look at what happens once you have uh, the capped larva and the bee is emerging out. So if you see in this video, you'll notice in the center of the video, there's a small bee that's starting to emerge. And they're gonna chew their way through once they've matured to about 21 days, and they're gonna emerge out, and there you go. So that's what a bee would look like when it's born, uh, coming out in a hive uh, from its various stages. Again, that's about 21 days that that typically occurs. So that's really what happens within a beehive. Uh, naturally, you have your uh, other components of a beehive. You have uh, your honey frames that people will harvest honey from. Uh, but this frame is really just the core of the hive. It's what really makes the hive work. And a queen can lay anywhere up to 1,500 to 2,000 eggs per day uh, at the height of the nectar flow season which is typically in your springtime. And then she will do that all the way up to the winter solstice. And then she'll begin to slow as she goes into winter uh, or in the fall and starts to lay what we call winter bees that have different jobs other than the regular jobs that typically bees do. Uh, and then you have uh, in, the, in the winter solstice, she'll, which is around mid to late December, she will start to pick up her laying of eggs again. And that will start to build up the brood nest again for the spring. So I hope you uh, liked our video. I hope you learned something from our video and it's fascinating to see what it looks like to see a, a baby bee be born from an egg to a larva to a pupa and emerge out. But uh, we like to share these little videos to share our knowledge that we've learned from uh, our various beekeeping experiences with our community. So thanks for watching. Make sure you uh, share uh, with your friends, subscribe to the channel, check out our uh, Bohemia Bee store, maybe get some merch, a hat, Help continue to support us uh, as we continue to learn here at the Bohemia Apiary. We have a sponsorship program in which you can sponsor a hive. So check that option out as well. You can give that as a gift. That's on our uh, store. You can look for that. And uh, make sure you uh, maybe grab a bottle of honey while you're there. But thanks for watching and continue to follow along. Subscribe to the channel here at Bohemia Apiary where beekeeping is definitely more than a hobby. It's an obsession.